Feel the voices of the poets in the wind. Listen to the singing of the artists on communal walls. See la musica splash rainbows on our souls. Loud and proud, I sing my ritmos and rhymes. and the mentorship of Raul Salinas. We go into juvenile detention centers, middle schools, high schools, and we conduct intensive writing workshops with youth, primarily youth of color. I spent a lot of years in prison. That's why I know. And that's why I wanted you to do that because it's very painful to do that. My new book is all about getting out. When Raul comes into one of those groups, he immediately addresses the students with full integrity, with full honor. It's also, we're going to say things here that need to be said. We're going to write things here that need to be written. I set up to save our youth. I was going into the schools because we're still trying to, like, how do we get reach the youth? How do we get, you know, we've got the poets, but now how do we move beyond that? A lot of people come to Johnston with misconceptions about who our students are, who our teachers are, uh, and what our school is about. And it has been my pleasure in working with Soy to see people who came in and interacted with my students as artists. As artists, first and foremost, and the development that I've seen over the last two years of the character of each of these students, they themselves deserve the credit for it, but I want to give so much respect back to Soy, to Renee and Raul for the work that they did. We talk about writing, we talk about poetry, we talk about issues. You know, what are the issues affecting Johnston? What are they saying about Johnston? Do you agree? You know, they're saying Johnston is being threatened to get shut down, how does that make you feel? He challenged them to talk, especially this last year, challenged them to talk about media perceptions of their school and to tell the story the way that they felt it should be told. What do you think are actually Johnston's problems? What do you think are problems outside of Johnston where there's a lack of perception? Where are they hurting us or where are they not hearing us? And what needs to be said? We will not be kept in the shadows anymore. We will not longer be kept quiet. We will stand up for what we believe in. We will fight for what we know is right. We will make a difference for our children's sake. We will hide in shame no more. We will fight to be equal in their eyes. We will no longer be filth that they need to get rid of. We will make a difference for we are the colored people of this world that the white people fear. I wanted to take on Johnston because they were uh, low performance school for four years, their football team was shoddy, I mean there was no no money's going in there and so it's a low performance school on the verge of closing. And we said, hey man, I mean, we bet there's some poets in that school. And so this teacher was very gracious and she opened up her class. And we had a, <laughs> a class of raggedy poets. This is my first poem. It's called Ode to the Tape Dispenser I Chewed Up During Class. I told you to stop molesting the pencil sharpener. Now I look at you. You're missing a side of your wall. You taste plain and bitter like H2O. We had some incredible little students. And that little guy that was like a gothic, that oh. Chicanito gothic. And the first day he came in there, you know, we just kept on going, Renee and I. And he had his hair like this and all this stuff, you know, and said we ain't nothing we haven't seen. <laughs> and we didn't pay attention to it and the next day he put it this way. The next day he put it this way. We don't care what you look like, man. Let's see what you got. There was another one. There's another one who's a Chicanita. Chicana Salvadoreña. Sarai. 
and she is witty, and she is like, she knows her stuff, man. And when her dad came, and then she plays guitar at her dad's one of them church revival meetings. Very strict and stuff, and she's, oh, she stands out. This one's called, uh, uh, My Dad Tells Me to Pray. My dad tells me to pray for strength, but I won't, because I'm already strong enough. Should my strength falter, I'll grip my teeth, strain my muscles, and hope to bring out some hidden strength. He says I should pray for wisdom, but I won't. I know enough, and should my knowledge not be enough, I will rack my brain and hope my charm and wit are enough to get me by. He says I should pray for patience, but I won't. I think I have far too much patience, but if it should ever run out, I hope my self-control will be enough. My mom never tells me to pray. It's always, tu papa dice. One day, I hope she will, just so I can hear her talk. Cantando colores, olores de flores, en arco iris danza, chanza que un día, con alegría, Caring and sharing con niños of rainbow people spirits. Walking and talking with us, not knowing of each other. Learning and la lucha de tú, yo. You and me, we then can understand, comprender, apreciar, to respect the similarities, las diferencias of world culture, que es lo mero esencial. I came to the conclusion personally and through my studying and, and through my friends that, that poetry um, can heal. Poetry is very he healing and poetry is very um, liberating and poetry is very empowering. All right, Daisy. Daisy, come on, Daisy. All right. Yeah, right there. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it. Assignment was to um, to write a place that you would want to be or whatever. And Man over there, you know, said that if it doesn't work for you, you know, you can write about the hood or where you've been and. Stuff like that. Um, what I'm gonna read is kind of difficult. Um, <laughs> some people, I know that afterwards, some people are gonna look down on me and stuff. So, okay. A lot of people look down on women who are dancers, strippers, or escorts. Some see escorting as prostitution with a license, and it's pretty much candy coating it. I'm not, because real world isn't pretty ugly. After being beat up by a man who constantly beats you and belittles you and glorifies you all at the same time, you are like a prized possession. You are like a trained dog who is taught to perform trips and, and bring in attention. What I'm trying to, I didn't finish, but the point that I'm trying to make across is that whatever people go through, you can always bring yourself out. Okay. And you can yeah. always make yourself better. Thank <laughs> you.